Officials say since 2017, the city of Stanford has seen more than 22,000 car accidents. Around 400 of them involve pedestrians. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Fabrizi shows what steps are being taken to eliminate traffic fatalities and serious injuries. Mayor Caroline Simmons signing a Vision Zero executive order today in an effort to make Stanford streets safer. The goal? By 2032, we have zero roadway deaths in the city of Stanford. The Vision Zero initiative was started in Sweden in the 90s. It's since been adopted by a number of cities across the U.S., including New York City. Now, one of Connecticut's largest cities is taking part. Officials say that so far this year, there have been four fatal crashes in Stamford, two of those involving pedestrians. We are told that that is the highest number of deadly crashes since 2017. We're kind of at a, a turning point here where we really are in a, in a crisis mode. Vision Zero is made up of five key components. You have safe speeds, safe people, safe streets, safe vehicles in our emergency response. Stanford's Bureau Chief of Transportation, Traffic and Parking says that in order to accomplish that, step one is forming a task force. The task that the task force has at hand is to create a Vision Zero action plan that we are going to build off of. That action plan will consist of projects aimed at making some of the yep, city's most it. dangerous intersections safer. Those projects will be in addition to safety improvements that are already in the works. From an engineering standpoint, uh, it will likely do things like reinforce complete streets and emphasizing pedestrians first. Uh, in our designs because they're the most vulnerable user of the roadway. Education will also be a priority. Social media is a big part of it. Uh, schools are going to be a big part of it. Uh, UConn's going to be uh, a big part of it. They have a lot of pedestrians walk around downtown. So we're going to have a, a lot of initiatives. With the city growing rapidly. It's all the buildings going up, all the people moving in. A big commitment with a bold goal over the next 10 years. It shows the city's commitment, so it kind of strengthens our grant applications going forward that we're committed to doing this. In Stanford, Lauren Fabrizi, News 12, Connecticut.